video we're going to look at what is the easiest programming language to learn as a first language. And the first thing we need to do is draw a distinction between the easiest languages and the best languages because these are not necessarily the same thing. I answered the question what is the best programming language to learn first in a different video which I'll link to later. I would say that C and Java are not easy but these languages are very very useful. So these tend to be in general the best languages to learn but are not easy. And I would say you've got to start somewhere and a good place to start is learning a language that is simple to write so that you can learn the fundamentals of programming without having to worry about the complexities of more different difficult languages. So a few ideas to get you started. These are what I would suggest as the easiest languages as a group Though I wouldn't say that programming is ever easy, but this is as easy as it's likely to be. Uh, though HTML, I would say, is just easy. So the easiest languages I've listed are HTML, Python, Visual Basic, Ruby, JavaScript, and PHP. And probably it's going to be very useful to look at the typical uses of these languages, and that's probably going to be one of the big deciders on which one you're looking to start with. So HTML, that's used for websites. Python is a general purpose language. You can do pretty much anything with Python. Visual Basics, used for applications. Ruby, I'd say, is very general purpose. The reason that I say very general purpose is that it can support various programming styles. This might not mean much to you now, but later on it could be quite helpful. Um, Ruby is able to do things like functional programming as well as object oriented programming and so on. These are different programming styles and various styles are possible in Ruby which is very useful. And Ruby is used extensively for web development. You also got Ruby on Rails which is another part of the Ruby language. JavaScript, that's useful for websites and web browsers. It's also used a bit for servers. PHP, another general purpose language, it's technically a general purpose language, but mainly you're going to see it used in web development. It's used extensively on servers. So if any of those interest you, then you should pick a language based on your interests. But for this video, I'm going to focus now on two languages that I think are really good for beginners. The first one's HTML. The advantage of this is it's easy to learn. There's a very good course on Codecademy that takes only seven hours to do. It's great for websites. In fact, it's absolutely essential for websites and it is one of the most used languages because of that. Though you could argue that the disadvantages are it's not real programming. It's very specific to websites. So you're not going to get a very good overview of all of programming language is very simplified. It's not hugely helpful with most second languages unless it, they're just being confined to web development languages and I wouldn't use HTML for any maths or problem solving or engineering. It's just not really appropriate. Python is another really good one for beginners. It's easy to learn because the philosophy of Python emphasizes readability and simplicity. Python can do everything. It's a general purpose language. Um, there are plans to teach this in high schools um, all throughout the UK as part of the national curriculum and it is one of the most used languages. Um, I'm a big Python fan so it's difficult to come up with disadvantages but if I was forced to these are the ones I thought of. Um, because of the simplicity and readability emphasis of the P Python philosophy uh, there is only one way to do things in general. If, the, if some languages support multiple ways of doing things like Perl does, um, Python just says no, we'll do one way to keep the language simple. And Python is run on a tight budget, it doesn't have huge corporate backing in the same way that languages like C and Java do. Uh, my personal recommendation for the easiest um, language to learn first would be Python. Um, I think it's the best combination of simplicity and functionality. 
so it's reasonably easy to learn and you can do pretty much anything in it. Um, if you're writing a code in C, you could write that same code in Python and it would work in very much the same way but the Python code would be easier to write and someone could read that Python code a lot easier. And I think Python is a fantastic introduction to programming. Instead of uh, obsessing about the um, details of coding, it lets you focus on the big ideas, things like if statements and for loops. You get to learn all of those without being bogged down in this annoying syntax. Um, good example of this is if you've learnt to program in C, you'll probably have got very annoyed at semicolons having to be at the end of pretty much everything. In Python you don't have to bother about putting a semicolon at the end of every line. It's things like that that make Python so much easier to work with. It's less picky about those little bits. Though there is some exceptions, um, I would say that Python's not a good language for absolutely everyone. If you're a web developer, I wouldn't say that Python is the best thing to learn first. I would suggest HTML. If you're looking to go into web development and you've not learned any programming languages, then you're going to have to learn HTML. There's no way that you can get round HTML. You cannot be a web developer without knowing HTML. It's just so fundamental to web development. Though I would say that Python plus HTML is a really good combination. You're getting HTML, which is a very simple language, good to get you started, and it's got wide applications in web development, and Python will give you the building blocks of real coding. So I would suggest that you consider those as a package, because HTML won't take you long to learn. And the last thing I would say is do your own research. Don't just rely on what I'm telling you, uh, because a lot of people on the internet that will passionately disagree with me. Um, each language has its own fan club of people who think this is the best language to learn, this language is awesome and it's better than everyone else. And if you read a lot of the different arguments then hopefully you'll be able to find which language suits you. But I would definitely focus on um, that table I gave you previously with the easiest languages and I would pick out of those so hopefully this gives you a good start to programming and good luck learning. Thank you.